Hi, this is Karen Rainford. Welcome to PRM 611 Technical Communication. Um, today I'd like to talk you through the syllabus and get started on a great um, setting this week. What I've found is that when we start PRM 611, there is so much information and it's so overwhelming that people say, I didn't get it until the third or fourth week. Well, let's avoid all of that. Let's make sure from the very beginning that we all understand exactly what's important in this course. Although there are no prerequisites for this course, I do hope that you're taking it early on in your program. Um, many students have taken this at the end of their program and said, oh, this would have been incredibly useful for me as I went through and wrote research papers and different courses, and even as I went through and did other assignments. My name is Karen Rainford, and I go by Dr. K or I go by Karen, um, whatever works for you. Um, I just finished school myself. Last April, I finished my doctorate in education leadership, and that's where I learned all about academic writing. And believe me, I learned it the hard way because I was not a natural at academic writing. So I'm hoping that that experience is going to make it more useful and easier for you because I did find a lot of shortcuts and I'd like to pass those along to you. Um, I'm available to respond to emails or phone calls. I always try to get back within 48 hours. Um, I tend to be on Engage every day for at least a short period of time. And I try to grade and give you feedback as quickly as possible as I can on your assignments. If you need to reach me, um, text me on my telephone number or email me. That usually works a little better than voicemail, which I'm less likely to, t um, to check. I'm going to skip right over the course catalog description and the student learning objectives. Professor Ryan does a much better job of talking about the student learning objectives. He designed the course. He has a very robust background in writing, um, especially in creative writing. My background is much more practical. After having worked 30 years in the trenches in project management and technology management, I've been a technical writer. I've written user guides, I've written instructions, I've written classes, I've written um, just about anything that you can write to deal with technology. And so um, the way that I approach the class is much more um, straightforward. Online version of this class, we use the Engage platform. If you're taking this class as an independent study, you'll be um, finding your information on Blackboard, but hopefully it'll be a, just about the same. For technical support, um, the technical support people are your best friends, and let's talk about the required textbooks. The APA guide is required for all of your courses at St. Mary's. It's the concise rules of APA style, and it's um, a very practical book that will help you with all of the research papers that you will be writing. Markle is about technical communication, and what by technical, I mean business communications. It's the way that we write when we're in an organization and we're writing to other people within our organization or to customers or to vendors. That's an excellent book. And finally, we need the guide to project management, which is the PMBOK guide. We're currently using the fifth edition. There's also an optional textbook. It's by Allred, Brusa, and Olio, and that is a handbook of technical writing. You may or may not find that you need that. The less experience that you have with 
high-level professional writing, the more useful that book will be to you. Your level of participation in this class will vary. However, I should let you know that all classes at St. Mary's meet the guidelines by the accrediting agencies, and that calls for approximately 14 hours of effort per week on your part. Um, you may find that if you are very experienced with the topic of a particular class, that it takes you less time. However, you may find that if this class is very difficult or outside of your expertise area, that it takes you more than that. My suggestion is that you set aside the time every week, every day. Personally, I set aside two hours a day, seven days a week to work on this course. And I hope that you'll find a way that works for you as well. We are LaSallean scholars, and that means that we have the highest level of ethics and professionalism. The place that that comes into play in this class is what we call plagiarism. And I'm very, very good at detecting and finding um, situations when you accidentally or on purpose took some information from an external source and forgot to give that source credit. And so we're going to work on making sure that that doesn't happen to you. Because I did have students in a previous semester who received zeros on several assignments because of that. And I don't want that to happen to you. So let's talk about how this course is designed. There are actually three areas that you will be working on over the eight weeks of the course. So let's look at the um, areas. The first is a major project called the Process Redesign Project. Second is another major project, and this is called the Academic Research Project. And finally, there are a series of workshops that help you get engaged with the course. So let's look at a document. First, take a look at this revised memo. Liz McKendry, one of the previous students in your class, um, has some technical writing background and she agreed to let her um, assignments for this class be used as samples. You can find them in this um, PRM 611 resources section, which is just below where week eight. So if there were a week nine, it's where week nine would be located. Um, what do you notice about this revised memo? First of all, it looks like something that you would see at work, not necessarily at school. This is technical writing, also known as business writing. And what you'll find is that it's very specific about who the audience is, who it's from, when it was written, and the specific purpose for that writing. It's also um, set out into short paragraphs, and there's a header at the beginning of the, um, of the paragraph. Another thing that you'll find is that it's organized usually with a conclusion, and bullet points are frequently used. Also, um, business writing tends to have a particular purpose, and it usually winds up by asking the, the reader to take some action as a result of this. This business writing is one type of the writing that we'll be doing this semester. You will do a major project called Process Redesign, and you'll start it out right away the first week um, with a 10-point assignment, and then you'll have additional assignments throughout the week, coming up to a total of 200 points. So if I take a look at that project, here's where it is. It's the Process Redesign Business Writing Project, and I tried to use blue font whenever I was talking about this. 
So as you can see here, the um, first week you'll be doing a memo. Next, in the second week, you'll do a proposal and a recommendation, a revision plan. You'll actually do a screencast or a video. And in the final week, which is week eight, you will revise all of the above assignments and create a final portfolio, a written document. So as you can see, process redesign has um, some deliverables almost every week, with the exception of week three and week six. And otherwise, you are almost always working on your process redesign project. Your second major project is all about academic research. So let's take a look at an academic research writing paper. Here's an academic research paper. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different from the research paper, from the process redesign paper that you saw. It starts out with a template with a, um, a cover page that's very specific to the specific school that, in which you're writing for. It goes on to have a table of contents if it's a long um, paper. And then it starts out by going through and um, using APA format to discuss a particular area of research. In this, um, the other things you'll notice is that it has a running head across the top. It has page numbers. Um, it follows a specific heading thing where we have level one headings and level two headings. It's always double spaced where we saw business writing was single spaced. Um, as you can see, it looks very different from business or technical writing. So that's it. There's one major project called Process Redesign that's all about business writing. There's a different separate major project called Academic Research, which um, also lasts throughout the course. And that one is um, uses APA style, double spacing, academic writing. And finally, the third part are a series of workshops, which are designed to support your learning about the other two major projects. So what does grading look like for this? 40% um, of your course is that research, academic research project. 40% of the course, or 200 points out of 500, is that process redesign or business technical writing. And 20% of the course are the workshops. And the workshops are the least important um, from a grading perspective and from a timing perspective. Um, this is a course in which using the um, writing center is extremely important. They're very much online. They can chat with you. They can talk to you on the telephone. They can Skype with you. Um, I used the Writing Center and the Twin Cities Library, and they are really available for people of all different levels of writing experience. Thank you for taking the time to um, attend this video lecture. There are hours and hours, approximately two hours per week of video lectures going forward in the course. And I urge you to take the time to listen to them and um, let me know when you're struggling, what's working well for you. We will have synchronous sessions um, every week, probably on Wednesday evenings, but they assume that you've already read the book the textbooks and that you've already read, listened to the video lectures. So um, they're mainly for question and answers. So I'm looking so forward to learning with you this semester. I'm looking forward to seeing your um, writing as it comes out right at first 
and then to seeing your revised and polished writing at the end of the semester. Thanks, have a pleasant time, and we'll see you soon.